Hey guys, so real quick, I'm just going to show you uh, <clears throat> this tool site for me that I started to talk about a little bit in class today. This helps you cite your sources uh, using APA format. So this is the website, and the way that you get here is by going to your hyperdoc. Uh, there are links to this on the blog, uh, and it's also there's also a link on the writing section of the class website. It's on this PowerPoint presentation slide number two. Just click on this link right here. So you go here, go to the hyperdoc, and then there's a helpful tool here that says cite this for me. If you open that up, it's going to take you to this website. Now, what this website does is it allows you, it saves you a lot of time to cite the sources that you need to cite. So uh, very simple, when you find a source that you want to cite, uh, whether it's a website, a journal, or a book, uh, you can just click on one of these. Okay, So I want to show you a, a website that I found uh, here on uh, an army commander from Chile that was uh, visiting uh, some defense military thing. Anyway, I want to use this in my research report, right? So. Uh, I want to cite this, so I'm going to go to cite for me, and I'm going to say, okay, I want to cite a website. When I click on this square, uh, it's going to give me uh, this ability to add the website right here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this article, this website, and I'm going to copy this link. I selected all of it, and I copied it, and I'm going to paste the URL exit out of this real quick. I'm going to paste the URL right here and I'm going to hit auto site. Now it's going to tell me what it is that it's found. Okay, so it says here's the title of the article, here's the website title, and here's the URL. They said that they were not able to find the author, the publisher, or the date of publication. So I'm going to go and just check. Can I find the author? or the publisher or the publication date. Uh, and it looks like there's a date right here actually for publication, so I can add that in later, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do, it has most of this, I'm gonna hit final step, and I'm gonna add, uh, it's gonna give me the chance to add any information that they didn't find but that uh, I was able to find. And so the year that this was published, it says 2017, it actually says here, May 19th, 2014. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to change that to uh, 2014, just like that. Okay. Uh, the page title is fine. The website name is fine. And the URL is right here. Uh, and it says access date. This means what date did I find this website. So that's okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to click Add Reference. Once I have done this, uh, you'll notice two things. The first thing, this thing that says in text, we'll talk about this feature later, but for your bibliography, everything right here is the citation. That's it. That, that, that is the APA, or actually, I'm sorry, one more step. Before uh, we can use this, you'll notice that this, uh, there's, a, there's a spot up here that says choose style. This says MLA. We don't want MLA, we want APA. So we'll just click on APA 6th edition, and there you go. That's correct. There we go. I was wondering why that looks so weird. So you can, uh, you can copy all of this, and uh, you, know, you could copy it and paste it into a Word document uh, if you want. So let me just open up another Word document here just real fast. And uh, paste. And there you go. This is the citation, the APA citation for that electronic source. So it'll definitely save you a lot of time. You can do the same thing uh, when you go back. Uh, you, can, you can go and you can do books. So I'll just show you that real fast. If you click on book, uh, any book title that you found. So let's say that you want to cite, we have those encyclopedias in class. I think they're by World Book. Incorporated, that's the organization, that's the publisher. Uh, look at there, uh, the first one of these two here, I think it's this one, the World Book Encyclopedia. 
Uh, some of these don't have complete uh, information, right? So you might be able to add some of this in later. But any book that you find that you want to cite, you can also cite that, and then it will it will keep a, a list of all of your sources here. You'll notice that this does expire. I mean, it takes a very, very long time. But uh, at some point, this will expire unless you create an account. I'm pretty sure it's free to create an account on this if you want to. Anyway, this is Cite for Me. Great way to save you a lot of time uh, with citing your sources for your research paper. So uh, I hope that helps. You guys have a good rest of your day.